Hey, hey folks, Captain Matt here. It's an exciting day. I'm over at Seth and Jude's house. So we were excited about activating a worm bin for Jude and Seth. This is the one that we actually built for a video that we made. Uh, here's the worm bin. It's a continuous flow worm bin. When this bin reaches maturity, which is in about six months, it takes about six months to get mature, and it, it reaches maturity by feeding food scraps and some leaf compost and different things. And we're gonna build it up to a certain level and keep it, turn it into a pad so that after six months, we'll then be able to take our rake and go underneath and we'll actually rake the castings right out. They'll drop down at the bottom and uh, then you can scoop them and put them in a can or a five gallon bucket and start saving castings for the spring garden. We will put the cardboard in, we'll put some bedding in, and then we're gonna open worms. And we uh, had a delivery today. We ordered a pound of African night crawlers and we ordered them from Mimi's Worms down in Georgia. Seth and Jude are going to start caring for this and uh, we're gonna watch the progression as, as we go along. There's plans for this that you can go to our video and see us build this step by step. When we built it, we didn't put air holes around the top so that we that worms could have uh, all the oxygen that they need. So we're just finishing it up. Jude is working on that project. And uh, Jude, you wanna go ahead and uh, finish drilling those holes there? This is uh, 3 uh, to a quarter. And if you notice, we have lots of holes around. Um, we want the worms to breathe. And uh, if, if we have plenty of holes, we're not wondering, are they getting air? They're getting air. How far apart do um, you do? They're about like one inch apart. Okay, all right, good. And so we're done now? Yes, that Okay, so uh, let's put the drill aside and we'll uh, take a look inside. And so the first thing we'll do as we build the bin is you want to make sure that you have a, um, a reasonably strong piece of cardboard because this cardboard is going to hold the bedding back from going down and through the pipes because we we want to build a we want to build a, a pad in there so that uh, it, it it just sits on top and it doesn't go anywhere until you start scraping it. And then the weight itself and gravity will continue to push it down. And you'll, you know, every uh, so many days, you're gonna have to find out um, that you can start scraping it and pulling uh, the worm castings through. But it's important to have a pretty heavy duty cardboard because this is gonna have to uh, make it for six months as the pad begins to form. So we'll put the first piece in. I cut it, cut it out because it had some uh, angles. And, uh, and then the second piece we'll put in here. And basically what we're doing, we're just stopping the bedding that we're putting in from flowing through. Now the next thing that we'll do is we'll put some bedding in. Um, and we have some bedding right here. And what we're using for bedding is it's, a, it's compost, it's leaf compost and wood chip compost. And it's a little on the rough side. Um, it's the same bedding that I use in the uh, eight foot continuous flow bin. And so we'll put some in just to start that pad and give the worm a place to live. And this bedding here has a, a decent amount of moisture to it. Let's see what, where we're at here. Um, so let's just spread this around. Okay, so what, what we've done is we've put five gallons in. So that's, that's a, we've got about 70% uh, moisture in the soil, which is a good start. But after we put the worms in and we'll put some Luke and Seth and Jude, start feeding them, we'll start putting more moisture in each time because our bedding is, we're gonna use a dry food and they'll take a sprinkler and sprinkle that um, dry food so that it gets moist so that the worms can eat it. A continuous flow bin is that if you, you can't overwater them. Um, 
You can underwater them, but you can't overwater them because the moisture is just going to work its way down and out and it's going to build the pad. And that's really important. And you have to keep that pad wet all the way through the, the process because if it starts to dry out, then it will crumble. And when you start to scrape, you're going to get crumbles on the bottom and then it can actually form voids in between. Uh, very, very important, keep moisture in here. Whenever you put food down, go ahead and put some moisture in. Some, uh, uh, you can use a watering can and it will, it will start to drip down the bottom. You might have to clean up a little bit or put a towel down there uh, if, if you would like, but just make sure that uh, you're keeping it plenty moist. Okay, so Jude, here we, here's our box of worms. We've been waiting with great anticipation and it arrived about an hour and a half ago. And uh, so Jude is going to open it up. All right, so uh, we're cut and Jude's going to open the box up now. Oh, this is exciting. Oh, Mimi, thank you for the worms. And here's our bag of worms. And take them right out. When worms arrive in the mail, they're in a ball. And so they ball up, as you can see. Um, this is like, they're, they're intertangled, but once we put them in the continuous flow bin, they're all going to set, we're going to set, help them separate a tiny bit, but then they'll get around and they'll, they'll let go. But they're, that's a hearty, healthy, uh, good looking, um, group of African night crawlers. So, um, we decided to get African night crawlers because, um, we like to fish and we know we wanted to get some castings for our garden, and you know these are probably one of the best choices for us. Okay, so we're going to take the worms now, and we'll bring them right over to the bin, and we'll put them down. Now, um, we would hurt the worms if um, I started pulling them apart, but the best way to get them to come apart at this point is bring some light in. And uh, they don't like light, and so they will immediately break out of the out of the ball and they'll start to spread. Now they may form another ball underneath. As you feed, your feed is gonna get them directed away from the ball and uh, they will, after a little while, they'll just take over this whole, this whole area. Good looking worms, I'll tell you that. I like those. So they bur burr down and they're, they're in their, their bedding now. The, our soil is a little dry, so we're gonna to wanna to add some water to that. And uh, Jude's gonna take care of that later and moisten this up. Um, and it's very important when, remember when you're dealing with worms, water cannot just come out of a faucet that has, where there's chlorine in the water. Uh, I always have five, two five gallon pails of water sitting in my uh, worm barn uh, that I bubble them sometimes, or if you just let them uh, sit for 24 hours, the chlorine, the chlorine evaporates out of the water and then you can go ahead and use it. So uh, the Cess, uh, Jude's water is not uh, ready 100% yet, but it will be later and he's gonna come in and give this a good, a good, old, um, good old sprinkling. And remember, you, can give, you can't give too much water in a bin like this. You're gonna find out, whoa, that's too much. I got a mess to clean up underneath. Well, it might take you a mess or two before you finally figure out exactly what you're doing but you wanna keep your pad wet. The next thing we wanna do is feed them and we would top feed these. Uh, Jude and Seth have a little bit of uh, feed. Some of the mix, one of our videos recently, we shared with you what our mix is all about. And today we're gonna to take that mix and sprinkle it on the top. Jude and Seth are gonna watch this daily and see how long it takes for the worms to eat it because even dry feed on top, you're gonna to wet it down a little. Come on over, Jude. And we're just gonna sprinkle uh, the feed on top very, very lightly like that. Now, the coloration between the, between the leaf compost we put in and the color of the feed, you're, they're, they're gonna know the, if the worms ate it or not. Jude is gonna do it, he'll do this later. He'll wet all that down, and then we'll, we'll close it up. Now, there, there are, issues with worms and there are times when worms like to travel. They like to crawl up the sides and they try to escape. So there are a number of ways of dealing with that. Um, here we have a top. We're going to lay the top down. But if 
Jude and Seth find out that the worms are escaping, then what they had recommended to me, and I thought it was a great idea, is an LED strip of um, stick-on lights right inside the bin. And so there's, that will keep, keep that will, it, it's a very light, it's not a bright light, it's enough light to keep them down. Um, I don't think there'll be a conflict with the food on top and that type of light. So we'll find out if there is what we'll do. If we find out that food is not getting eaten, we'll put a piece of, of uh, bubble wrap or plastic over it so that they won't come out away from, the un from underneath the plastic and start crawling up the side because of the lights up here. But the plastic on top, and I think that's probably a real good idea. Plastic on top, black plastic, just laid lightly on top, making sure there's oxygen can get in. And uh, you'll find that uh, uh, there'll be moisture every time you pull it off because of the moisture arising. And you'll have uh, babies. Babies love to climb on top of plastic or under plastic. And uh, there'll be a lot of moisture there for you too. So um, it'll be, it, it's, it's a good learning experience here. Uh, we're ready. I think we can shut it up and don't just, let's not forget to water this and give it a good, I mean, a good dose of water, okay? Um, don't be shy. Sprinkle it. When that water uh, is ready, you just sprinkle that all over and, and like you're watering a garden, get that moisture down there because we have about, uh, we're looking at about three inches of bedding to start this off. And, uh, and then all your scraps, um, once I started worming, um, no scraps end up in the garbage now. No bread scraps, no vegetable scraps. Uh, we're going to put the, all the scraps in here. No meat, no cheese, no fish, because those will get smelly. But all the vegetable scraps you'll put on um, every day. And uh, you'll be amazed at how fast these guys are going to be able to eat them. Now listen, if you build one of these, would you be kind enough to send me a picture of it? I always get excited when people... When we give ideas and, and the ideas are working for you, it helps us to, you know, motivates us. We're going to um, ask you then to, the way to get that picture to us is to subscribe to our Worm People newsletter. And uh, in, the, in the newsletter will be a link where you'll be able to send that picture out. And we're interested in any pictures that you have. But this is one today that's on our heart. I know numbers of you have built them and uh, we'd love to have those pictures. So it's the Worm People newsletter, and there's a link right here to subscribe. But Worm People, you know, I'm, I'm so excited about the way you guys continue to give us ideas, and, and it, it's the communication is just wonderful. And I'm just thrilled to uh, be a Worm People. And we gotta stick together, you know, like that ball of worms down there. You know, they just, they just stuck together, and, and let's stick together. Let's share everything we can share with one another and help other people learn the joy of making their own worm castings for their gardens. And uh, for June and Seth, these are two of the younger generation worm people, uh, but their worms are, uh, are for two reasons. They're, they have a vegetable garden and they're fishermen. And so they're gonna do some, uh, some good fishing with the worm. I'm just so glad to be part of the worm people community. And I'm so glad that you're a part of it. You know, uh, we're starting to bump into some of the people that are, are, are uh, watching our videos now. And uh, one guy knocked on my window at work and said, hey, Captain Matt. And I looked up and I was like, oh, he said, yeah, you know, I'm watching every one of your videos. I was like, oh, great. And he introduced himself and we had a nice chat. I I'm just thrilled to be part of the Worm People community and I'm glad you're a part of it too. Feed me!